Hello and welcome to another tutorial on our channel Learn at Nostar. This tutorial is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Python and Jupyter Notebook on Windows. So let's get started. So here I am on the Python page for download and I'm going to simply click on this download button to download the latest version for Windows. All these links I will also be providing in the description box below so you can directly go to this link and download Python on your personal system as well. So I'm just going to click download and it's going to start the download. So now I have the downloaded software here in my downloads. I'm just going to run this setup application. So run as administrator. Install now. And we get the message that the setup was successful, so I'm just going to close it here. So if I search in my programs, I should be able to see the Python 3.11 installation. You can see there is the idle module installed. I'm just going to click on it. So it comes up like this. I'm just going to type a simple one plus one just to test that it has been installed and I get the correct result. So it should be okay. Next, we need to add the path of Python and Python scripts folder to the environment variables. So copy these paths and go to the startup window. Edit the environment variables. A box for system properties will pop up. You need to click on the environment variables here. Go to path, edit, new. And add your paths. Say OK. Next, you need to go on Manage App Execution Aliases. Here you see Python, you just need to turn this off. You do a Python version now. You will get the correct version of Python installed. If you do not perform the last step that we just discussed of switching off the aliases, then you would be getting a warning over here that Python was not found. The warning message itself suggests that you should try to disable the shortcut from the settings manage app execution aliases. Now that we can see the version, which means the Python has been installed, the next step is to install some libraries. So, so first we're going to upgrade the pip running this command that it suggests. Next, we want to install some virtual environments. So I'm going to say pip install virtual environment. Next, you can create a virtual environment by any name. So you have to write the command virtual environment and then your environment name. Uh, we are going to call it Python lab. Next, we need to move on to the scripts folder of our virtual environment. So cd python lab scripts. and run the activate dot bat. So now we are in our environment and we can install whatever libraries we want to this environment. Let's start with installing NumPy. 
pip install numpy next let's install pandas so pip install pandas next i'm going to install matplotlib and then we can use this command python-m pip install jupyter to install the jupyter notebook